Holy Snokes! What force are they using to create such holograms? The future is here, and you know it, Emma. Instead of dreaming, use science fiction as an inspirator. Here on the dark side of the bed, you can always find a box of forgotten items. Oh, don't worry, he won't mind. Although, I would rather call them classics instead of old. Good thing your brother has a tendency to collect things and forget about them afterward. Back to the future, girl. Let's make this science fictional hologram real. Shall we give those old CDs a little remix? Switch the old label into a plain black sheet of paper. Add a generous amount of hot glue instead of the CD in order to attach another piece. Drop an additional line of hot glue in the middle of the black paper and stick the other case on the spot to form a 90 degree angle. Now lift the lid to form a glass box just like that. Fix it up using tape and more finished. The transparent piece and the black background works best for a hologram box. It looks like this tiny elephant is taking a walk inside this box. I guess there's no need to travel far into the future to have holograms like this, huh? Here, kitty kitty! Where do we use all these excess popsicle sticks? With the help of our good old hot glue gun, anything is possible. Go ahead and make a fence if you desire. But for starters, let's begin with something way more adorable. One by one, and you'll see the tiny TV box forming up. Just be sure to make it the right size for your phone, though. Yep, you heard it. Just the right length and width for the perfect Simpsons watching spree. Darn it, where did I put my remote control? While surfing the net, Emily stumbles upon an amazing macro shot of an eye. Hmm, does a close-up of my iris look like that as well? Well, Emily, wanna check for yourself? We just need to zoom in a bit more. Whoops! You got a bit carried away now, didn't you? Better zoom out a bit, girl, and take a look at those items. When was the last time you played around with this laser pointer? Now that I think about it, how come the light of this small thing can travel so far? This tiny lens inside is pretty handy, isn't it? Is there a way to use this tiny piece to your advantage? Using a pair of pliers, you should be able to disassemble the pointer to remove the lens. A simple hairpin will help you to handle it. Put it on your phone camera and fasten it up using a piece of tape. Really? That's it? Does your newly upgraded phone cam work, though? Wow! The macro effect is so vivid now! Yes, it looks perfect! It seems Emily is far from finished, though. Shall we take a photo of Mr. Washington's eye as well? Now you don't have to buy a super expensive camera, saving quite a few dollars. Instead of playing around with these colored beads, shall we make something more useful out of them? Grab a pegboard and start arranging them. Guess who just got out of the pipe? Cover it with a piece of baking paper and iron it in order to melt them a bit. Take off the pegboard and now get your plain phone case ready. Cover the melted side with a layer of hot glue and stick it on the case. Yep, that's it! Your custom phone case is ready to be admired. I wonder what Princess Peach is gonna think about it. If you can't see this spray bottle, I think it's time to clean your phone screen, don't you think? Make a mixture out of distilled water and the same amount of 70% rubbing alcohol. Now grab an old towel and, using a sharpie, mark the width of the bottle and crop it out. Let's take a couple of small Velcro pieces, glue one on the towel, the other on the bottom of the bottle. Now you can attach or remove the towel piece anytime you want. The alcohol inside will surely remove any stain on your phone no matter how greasy it is, and use the towel part for the finishing touch. For a neat decoration, let's attach a line art drawing of your choice onto your phone. Now wrap a piece of baking paper around it. Get your hot glue gun ready because we're about to trace the contours of the drawing. Let it dry for a bit and use nail polish to add some colors into the ornament. Don't forget the sides as well. As soon as it dries, you may remove the finished case from your phone. We're all done! Say goodbye to those pricey phone cases and make a custom one of your own. This old watch deserves to be at least recycled. 
First, remove the straps. Connect the ends. It may look ridiculous now, but bear with me. Grab your phone case and a glue gun. Stick the straps onto the case. Let it dry for a bit and we're done. I couldn't picture myself without this phone hack. Do we really need this card holder? Instead, let's make it more practical. Just cut off all the unnecessary parts and glue it directly onto your phone case. Everything in one place. What a smooth operator. Do you even need a wallet these days? Nope, won't be wearing that ever again. But we could surely make something out of this pocket. Just crop out a gap over here. We're planning to make it wider, so crop tiny corners here as well. And use a hot glue gun to fix up those corners and the excess fabric. Feel free to decorate it any way you want. Hang it on the charger and put your phone inside it. What a good way to handle short cable situations like these. Madison wants to sleep. Oh, darn it, not today, clock. Enough already, you stupid. Phew. Okay, may as well get up and get going. Ugh, oh, just five more minutes. Haven't we heard that one before, hey, Madison? It's ringing again already. Okay, five more minutes. What can possibly be wrong with a little morning snooze? Gah! Oh, well, let's check what's going on in the virtual world first. Check email, check Facebook, check what's up, check Twitter. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. It's how late? Aw, look at these two lovebirds, chatting away as if the world around them didn't exist. Cheers, you two. It's getting pretty hot in here, you know what we're saying? So romantic, it's almost too much. Whoops, what's going on? Oh, telephone. It's good old Adam rescuing us from a special moment. Not now. No, later man, later. No, you can't eat that old cheese from the fridge. It's a month out of date. Wow, guys, romantic candlelit atmosphere totally ruined. But you know what? You might actually have something more in common. Remember those times when mobile phones were indestructible? Madison remembers. Yikes, your landlord won't be happy about this. Let's just blame it on his cat. He wouldn't believe the real story anyway. Watch out, Madison. Oh, goodness gracious, no, this is unbearable to watch. And the screen is broken, just as expected. She bought it just a month ago. No! Finally, an evening just for you, Jacob. What do we have here in your treasure chest? Let's start it off with a bit of Tetras. Remember to feed that Tamagotchi. Playing cards, maybe? Huh, nothing like a couple hours of video games. Yeah, take that, Mr. Robotnik. You're the best. Gotta level up in Tetras. Gotta take my duck for a walk. Gotta fight me some orcs. Solitaire, I guess, is fine too. It's as if that little thing sucked the whole energy out of him. Time for a little photo shoot. Yay! This is so exciting. What's it like? Holy smokes. All blurry, smudgy, overexposed, and badly cropped. That'll do. You can put that one on your resume, Madison. Cheers. Let's try this eye now. Okay, how about that? Still not ready? How's it so difficult to take a good selfie nowadays? Left side, right side, smiling, frowning, duck face. Maybe it's your hair. Try to shake it up. Oh yeah, baby. 
Whoa, her phone almost broke on that one. Maybe it's just not your day for selfies. Hmm, okay, just one more. Here comes the birdie. New subject in math class today. Better be taking notes just in case. Triangle has three angles. Whoa, when did she manage to write that? No, 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 don't wipe it off yet. Did time just speed up while we weren't looking? Geometry? No problem. Time to take a photo of the blackboard. Just one little click and all the knowledge is safe within your pocket. Emily is getting ready for bed when... Oh, what are you doing here, Jacob? Hiding in the bushes? You know it's not polite to spy on people like that. Binoculars? Boy, this is going in a very weird direction. Should we be watching this? <gasps> Get out of here, you creepster! Seriously, some people! Hey, what you clicking there? Oh, it's Emily's Instagram page. Like, like, like. Wow, that's a lot of likes. Who is this guy anyway? Ooh, not bad, sir, not bad at all. Let's give him a like back and start a little chat. Wow, imagine what you would be doing to get a girl's attention if you didn't have a smartphone. And then he took her to the, wait a minute, doctor's appointment. 1.30, and now it's already... Wow, Madison, you are so late. Run! Which article about cats was it? Oh, look, it's almost time for your appointment, Madison. Good thing you put up a reminder, right? Such a useful little thing. Hey, Crafty Pandas. I hope you enjoyed these life hacks. Let us know which of them you're gonna use next in the comments down below. If you wanna learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.